freezer and there's some chicken drummers in the fridge, all right? Yes, Deck. Uh, and remember, no parties, OK? No, Deck, no. Good, right. I'll be off, then. Bye-bye, <laughs> baby. Bye, Deck. Not you, lardy boy. You gotta fight! Party time! For your right! Yeah. Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> Who's she? Oh, Dex picture, he's gonna kill us! Quick, get up, get up! He's back from the plastic surgeons in two hours! Hello? Is that Crocodile Neil? It's just possible you could save my life. <laughs> start this week's show with my own tribute to a special little lady. You can keep your Naomi's and your Helena's and all your Bev's off Brookside's. There's only one woman for me. <laughs> Anthony! <laughs> Good Lord, man, I never knew. Where's my personally signed, mahogany-framed, autographed picture of the delectable Katie Hill? The dog ate it. I left it on the bus. I had a visit with you, you see. Where is it gone? Well, um, I've sent it away to be specially cleaned and polished for you, mate. Really? Yeah. And the bloke will be round today to mount it for you. He'd better be. He'd better be, Aunt. Because, ladies and gentlemen, Ms Hill has kindly agreed to an après show candlelit dinner. <laughs> hey, lovely. What you're cooking for us like, Deck, eh? No, 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 no. With me, pie belly. <laughs> with, with, with me alone. Yes, the, the, the lights will be down low. The music will be soft. The fire will be just one bar. Saving on the electric leg, are you? Your jealousy cuts no ice with me, Aunt. Katie and I are made for each other. And don't they cure schnurkers? Now, we do lots of interviews, and we find that the same questions crop up over and over again. Just like Aunt's piles. I, <laughs> like, what's your favourite food? What bands do you like best? Is Deck really such a ponce off the telly too? <laughs> Does Ant really have so many disgusting and antisocial habits? Has Deck ever felt the weight of Ant's fist footing into his solar plexus? Does Ant want to try it? Does Deck want some like eh? <laughs> <laughs> but the question we get asked most is, how did you meet? Yeah, and contrary to popular belief, we are not the illegitimate offspring of the uh, Chuckle Brothers. No, as we often tell people, did we meet on the set of teenage soap opera Biker Grove Man? No. <laughs> Long before we trod the boards, we exposed ourselves to the harsh glare of the media spotlight. The year was 1981. It was the marriage that captured the nation's hearts, and we had a part to play. It will never last. He's powerful, he's programmed to kill, and he's made of plastic. Coming soon to a television set near you. My middle name is Justice. <laughs> Anthony, Anthony, no amount of world record breaking could ever disguise your lack of talent or your failings with women. No, Deck. But, but it will help me in my lifelong quest to meet children's factual entertainment.
name and God, Chris Akabusi. <laughs> That's true, that's true. It is a pity we haven't a world record breaking TV expert around here to help us. Now, I'm sure I've left one lying about here somewhere. Yeah, so, so I thought you had as well, Neil, actually. Just to... Hey! It's TV Cheryl Baker! <laughs> Someone told me that you want to break a completely stupid and pointless world record. Yeah, we do, because then we get to meet Chris Agabusi! Hey, yeah. 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 Something wrong with me, then? Oh. oh, oh, I get it, I get it. I'm just the girly on record breakers, and you think that Chris Agabusi is the brains behind the operation, is that it? Oh. Oh. Okay, okay, tell me this. How many Eurovision Song Contests has Chris Agabusi won, huh? <laughs> Cheryl, Cheryl, it's all right. You're with friends now. It's okay. It's okay. Now, look, we just want to break a world record. Just a tiny weeny one. Yeah, just a tiny one. Then we get to meet Chris Ackerman. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay, okay. Pancake tossing. Good one. Toss. Right. You got, you got to toss that pancake as many times as you can in ten seconds, starting from now. Oh, well, that was really pathetic, wasn't it? OK. Deck, you managed, you managed to... You managed to do absolutely nothing at all. And you at least did one. You're supposed to catch it, you see. The point is, you chuck it up and you catch it. Yeah, but who says? Who says? Who says? I may be playing the Geordie version, mate, where, where, where the, the pancakes are used as projectiles of actual bodily harm. Hey, what's like, that? Yeah, like this. Like this. This is all my own. it was Saturday every day? Well, now it can be. Simply get a friend to sit inside your TV set, pretending to be Andy Peters. This is Live and Kicking. Coming up next, Spider-Man. <laughs> showbiz, showbiz. Do you like my expensive shirt? Showbiz. I really fancy that Janet Jackson. Oh, stop it, you're rude. Really... Nowhere near expensive enough, your shirt, for starters. But I'm, I'm as showbiz as you on the telly, haven't I? You're nearly as showbiz <laughs> as me, my mate. Neither of you, I have to say, are as showbiz as my <laughs> That's true, that's true. <laughs> How are you, bunny lads? Hey. Sorry I'm late. Trouble with the bear, you How know. How are you doing, mate? All right. All right. Now, where's the punts when his pitcher pudding? Uh, <laughs> Anthony, who is this grubby little man? <laughs> <laughs> the name, Sybil, is Neil. Crocodile Neil, master builder. No job, too loud, too messy, or too threatening to leave. Crocs and all, mate, Deck. What he doesn't know about woodwork is catalogued in 16 hardback volumes of densely written text. Exactly. Um, if I could just have a small picture who's just next to me. Can I just stop you right there? Because I won't have any of your long, fancy pants, hay for looting words like small picture hook. What's wrong with a good six-inch nail when it's at home? Tell me that. Yeah. Nothing, yeah. nothing, yeah. nothing. All righty. Now we've got that all nicely sorted out. Where do you want your photo, Gannon? Just on the wall. Right. Oh, I don't know. In my day, real lads had posters of Gaza on the wall, not Nancy girly photos. <laughs> right. You, the ballet dancer, mince your way over here. And hold me nail in place, will ya? <laughs> Cops and the burger that changed their lives. Tony so. Your partner's about to taste his last burger. Bobby! <laughs> Tony Soul is a cop on the edge, struggling to come to terms with the death of his partner. I suppose I always loved the guy, really. He was a damn good cop, you know. The best. If only I had the chance to say so. The terror continues. <laughs> a city in the grip of a sinister madman. Ah! 
down with cheeseburgers, fetch your kebabs and the slugs to eat them. Mmm, soon the world will learn how to eat my muesli. The cop with a mission. The cop with Blue Peter handicraft <laughs> fact sheet number seven. I can do it. Just give me 24 hours. My middle name is Justice. <laughs> when the world gets tough, the cops get tougher. Five seconds to execution. I'm terribly sorry, officer. I want to concentrate. Go on. Bob, Bob, come on. Not again. I'll show you the proper place for litter. Legally parked citizen, but it's been deactivated. The hunt is on. Ah, one, no, two billion dollars from the city bank by midnight, or I will wipe out every burger bar and kebab shop on the face of the earth. <laughs> They're living on borrowed time. That's a fit time. He's arrested me this week. I want his button <laughs> Bobby! Bobby, I need you! Yes! Oh. <laughs> yes! <laughs> There's only one man can save the city. And he's not even a man. Bobby Daffro is badly made lieutenant. Badly made lieutenant. At a cinema somewhere. Take a book here. Gauss, is it time for you to massacre another pop classic, is it? Nine. You what? Nine. I have taken, how you say, the part-time job. Oh, doing what? Door-to-door -door Frankfurter salesman like, oh, yeah? <laughs> I'm playing the Alpine horn in a top transatlantic pop band. Oh, oh, aye, really? aye, aye, aye. Oh, really? Nobody else would put up with your odour of pickled cabbage, Klaus. You know that. You just want to get home in time for neighbours. I said, where would you be without us, Klaus? Let me ask you, where would you be? I'll tell you where you'd be. You'd be playing Bavarian, country and Western classics to freezing village halls in rural Germany. That's where you'd be. What, man? Come on, look. German rock genius joints upside down. <laughs> Auf Wiedersehen, pet. Marie, we want to next year. Mm. Mm. I'm still not sure, Aunt. Just as deck. Katie loves spam fritters, man. <laughs> BQ, George! BQ, Cameron Thu! Hey! <laughs> Peter, what do you think you're doing? I am the assistant key gripper best boy gaffer. BQ! <laughs> no, you're not. No, you're not. You're an unemployed game show host with no talent and no part to play in this show. <laughs> Peter! <laughs> Shut up, Hughes. Peter, how many more times do we have to tell you? Just do one, will Go you? Away. Go away. This... <laughs> Go! Mr. Am, Mr. Deck, please, please could I have me on your show? I'll do anything. Anything? Anything. Well, we might just have something. <laughs> 101 uses for Peter Simon, number one. A handy bike stand. Enter the undergrowth of the strange and mysterious world. Avant McPartland. This week, alien body snatchers from outer space. Now, 2,000 years ago, Egypt was at the pinnacle of human civilization. Or was it? A team from the McPartland Center for the Strange and Mysterious, on a day trip to Cairo, made a shocking discovery. Evidence that an alien presence had infiltrated Egyptian civilization, taking over their bodies and communicating in an elaborate sign language like this. But how can we be so certain? Now, that would have been the end of it if it were not for recent evidence showing that these aliens are back. Yes, far from simply waving their hands incoherently, East 17 are the innocent victims of an alien body snatch. 
they unwittingly signal the final onslaught of an alien civilization hell-bent on taking over the Earth. We're back. <laughs> Earthlings must die. The end of the world is nigh. Take that, or the devil spawn. <laughs> Remember, the truth is out there. Oh, I and I'm not sure. I saw. <laughs> Come on, Dick. The favoured shot is blinking blue and obvious, man. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. What is it, then? Oh, Dick, <laughs> man. Right. Hit the white ball at a pace of 6.3 megahertz, thus stunning it back four and a half wonder bras. Then, <laughs> hot noodling that black ball. Right. Will I need a rest? Yeah, it is quite a tiring shot, actually. <laughs> no, no, no. No, I mean, like, to reach like that. No, no, use these. Ah. Thanks, Dave. Thanks very much. Um, right. So. But hang on, is this within the rules of pool? Because I thought in pool you had to keep at least one foot on the floor. Did you? Yeah. I thought you could lift both feet off the floor. I don't know. Let's ask somebody who will know. John? Hey, it's John Gogol! <laughs> Before you ask, Jim Davidson is just as funny in real life. <laughs> the poor fella. <laughs> oh. Uh, shall I show you a trick shot? Hey, yes. Hey, hey. Come on, on hey, John. Here we go. Put a little tube there. Tube there. Right. Black on top of the tube. Black yeah. on top of the tube. White and red here. Yeah. Up the, up the ladder. Yeah. Black in that pocket over there. It's yeah, no. It can't be done. It's all very well an expert like you coming on our show and doing tricks, John, but I bet you couldn't teach a couple of novices like us a trick shot. I could teach you a shot that is twice as good as that. <laughs> OK, lads, I potted one black in a middle pocket. Now I want you two to pot these two at the same time. That one in that pocket and this one in this one. Right, then. We'll give it a bash. Ready? Right yep. Steady, go! <laughs> One hundred and one uses for Peter Simon. <laughs> Number twenty-three. Oh. A handy back scratcher. <laughs> this is Beat the Bob of the nation's favourite hair-related game show. The aim of the game is simple: beat the Bob and win tonight's star prize. Hey, eh? star prize. Lose, and the barber walks away with your hair. The rules are very simple. We've taken a mystery celebrity and covered them up. We'll ask you three hair-related questions. For each question you get right, we'll remove a strip from the board. At the end of the three questions, we'll ask you to guess the celebrity. If you guess it right, you win a Sony PlayStation. Guess, but... guess wrong, and we'll have your hair. We'll have your hair, have we? Have we? Any volunteers for this week's Beat the Barber? Oh, not that many people this Ooh. week, actually. Not oh, you. You do? Do you? Oh, you're not sure. Oh, you sure? Hold on. Could I get in there? Oh, you do. You do. What's your name? Tanya. Tanya, where are you from? Newcastle. Newcastle. Way! <laughs> oh, tongue dear, close to my heart. Now, everybody around her here, can you test that this is not a wig? Can you pull her hair actually and show the viewers at home? This look. Okay, not not too rough now. This is not a wig, isn't it? Not. No. She. Ah, there you are. Like on the adverse. Now, look. We're going to take a look. At last week's contestant. Then after that, you can tell me if you still want to play. Beat the ball. The first snip. How, how are you feeling? How, uh, <laughs> you don't know. I well, can't thank you. Oh, okay then. Take the barber's chair, if you please. Thank you very much. Now, after seeing that clip, it, it disturbed me quite a bit. Are, are you still prepared to play Beat the Barber? Um. <laughs> um. Yes. Yes. She is, Dex. She is. Fantastic. Let's meet our resident barber. What do we say when we see Stan? <laughs> Hello, Stan, where is your van, pal? Right outside the back door for a quick getaway, because I never lose. Oh! oh! You think so, dear? Well, she seems quite confident today, Stan. We'll see. Let's get on. We'll let's see, get we'll on. see. Let's, let's get on. OK, question one. What is a barbershop quartet? Is it A, a square dance, or B, a singing group? What do you think, audience? A or B? A or B? A or B? What do you think? I think it's... 
Yeah. Be. You're right. Yeah. It is. <laughs> now, don't guess yet. Not yet. At Power Cuts Hairdressers in Nottingham, how much is a Gaza-style haircut? Is it A, £4.50, or is it B, £6.50? Is it A or B, or is it out? <laughs> Right, OK. It's up to you, Tanya. At the, end, at the end of the day, it's up to you. What do you think, A or B? A or B? B. You're wrong! It's I'm it. afraid you're wrong! <laughs> Here comes... Here comes your cake. Would you like to put it round in there, Stan? While I ask her, the last question. Yes. Question three. Quiet, everyone. Which American pop star set their hair alight whilst filming a soft drink commercial? Was it A, Michael Jackson, or B, Madonna? What do you think, yeah. What do you think, A or B? E. It was! It was me! Take off that strip, Declan. Strip two comes off. Okay, right. Right, right Tanya. Who do you think this week's celebrity baldy is? Now. Um, Jim Davison. Who does yes. You're right! You <laughs> Tanya! Oh. Tanya, for the first time ever on the series, you have beat the barber. How do you feel? I feel fabulous! Fabulous! <laughs> You want one? A Sony PlayStation with free rigid game. Much. Stan, how do you feel, mate? Oh, I feel as if I've had my head shaved. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well I'm so sorry, Tanya. Well done. The first winner on Beat the Barber on the Ant and Deck Show this week. Tanya from Newcastle beat the Barber. <laughs> how do you expect me to get in my bedroom now? Oh, stop! You're grizzling, you great lady's handbag. It's a canny wall, you kidder. Any chance of your girl if water slipping? No. <laughs> oh, rock solid. <laughs> £42,000 and 61 pence. <laughs> Look, I'll give you a tenner and you'll be happy about that, you sad guy. £42,000 and 61 pence, please. <laughs> Anthony? <laughs> What's the problem? Crocodile Neil is trying to swiss me. Surely not, man, eh? I want me money to neat. Or else, right? Or else what, eh? Come on, then, come on! <laughs> you, you and your pals, come on! Come on, yeah, then! Yeah. Come on, yeah. what? Yeah. Come on! <laughs> you get yeah. out. What? Shut up, man, will you? <laughs> 101 uses for Peter Simon, number 75. A handy wall decoration. You know, Dixie, you really know how to treat a girl. Shucks. Ain't no fine. <laughs> Get out! Hey, Get out! No, no, Dixie, the thing is, I forgot to tell Get you Get back to bed go. now! No, no, Crocodile Neil, he came Anthony, back. can't you see I've got guests? Get to bed. <laughs> oh, please. Come on! Mm. Katie, I've got something special for you. Something just to show you how much I care. Let me show you. Dexy, Wexy, what could it possibly be? It's for you, Katie. Just so oh. good. But you know what? Just she called yeah. it Beat, Beat the, the Barber. barber. Ha, ha, ha. And we actually have the star of last week's <laughs> Beat the Barber with us, Laurie Slater, who wrote to us to tell us all about it, is now in the studio. Thank you very much for coming in, Laurie. It's all right. Are you all right? Yep, yep thanks. A little lighter on top, though? Just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, just trim. a little bit. It was just so excellent when they, <laughs> when they chopped it all off. In fact, let's, let's just see, see that, that again. again. <laughs> this week, Laurie Slater from Bromley did not. Beat the barber. <laughs> oh, there it goes. It was long, and now it's quite short. Mm. How do you feel about your new haircut? I absolutely love it. I think it's brilliant. It's a lot easier to handle, and it's just brilliant. <laughs> it sounds like an advert. <laughs> <laughs> Get your haircut by Anton Deck. It's easy. <laughs>